Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see, um, take a look and see at your person's energy. What is it that they're thinking and feeling right now? What is it that you need to know? This is a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. So let's take a look and see what you need to know about the person on your mind. So this person that's on your mind, um, it feels like there's a lot that's going on with this person or there's a lot going on with the person that I'm connecting to, the person that I'm doing this reading for. Emotionally, there's a range of different emotions and moods um, all going on. There's, there's almost like an overwhelm of emotions here. Um, there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of uncertainty either this person feels confused about their feelings for you or they feel really confused about the situation and the circumstances that you find yourselves in six of cups energy strong water energy okay so this could be a pisces a cancer or a scorpio that you're connected to um, but of course this rules the realm of emotions right so emotionally, I feel like this person is missing you, okay? And this person, there's a very deep sense of longing or there's a deep sense of yearning to go back to something. So maybe this is someone you're not in contact with or you're in a bit of a disconnection with this person or there's some sort of distance that you feel emotionally or energetically with this person. And so this person wishes that either they were closer to you, um, like how they were before, or that the two of you were in a better place, like before. Um, the, this person wants to go back to how things were. So that leads me to say that things aren't necessarily the same right now, that things are a little bit different. So someone here is definitely missing you and someone is thinking about you. You may be really, you may be someone who's really intuitive and, or even lately, like your intuition may be really heightened. And so you might be thinking about this person too. You may just kind of be like feeling their presence, feeling their energy, just really feeling them pulling on your energy, right? So Six of Cups, I feel like, I do feel like there's someone here who wants to reach out, but I think that they either they stop themselves or they're just so confused. They're really confused and nervous because they're not sure how you're going to respond or they're not even sure if it's a good idea. I also feel like this is someone who's very withdrawn and has their energy pulled away from yours. Someone who has been spending a lot of time on their own lately. Someone who's been in their head a lot. Someone who's been doing a lot of reflecting. So because this person has had a lot of time to themselves, they had a lot of time to think. And they've been thinking about you and they've been thinking about what happened here and they've been thinking about how it all maybe went down south or how it all fell apart. I do see that this person is inspired and will be inspired to take some action. Um, but in the meantime, it's like there's been so many occasions where they came so close to picking up their phone and maybe sending you a text message, but then they would stop purely because this person doesn't know, you know, will you reach out? Will you reach back out? Will you respond? Have you blocked them? Do you want to hear from them? Is this a good idea? Um, is it worth revisiting? You know, do they still stand a check? A second chance is there a possibility of a reconciliation um, if not now maybe in the future like there's all these different questions going on in this person's mind and they're just really confused like a part of them wants to reach out 
got another part of him that thinks it's not a good idea. So a lot of back and forth. And, you know, the hermit energy is telling us that this person is keeping to themselves. Right now, they're really quiet. They're not socializing a lot. I think that they've been really working on themselves. Um, they're just... There's a quiet solitude about this energy. They may be spending a lot of time on their own or just like reading books or just really being really self-contained and keeping to themselves. Temperance is the universe telling you to be patient with the situation, okay? Anything that you try to do now is not going to, it's, it's only going to backfire because I feel like you need to let whatever this is between you and this person, whether it's a disconnection or a separation um, or just, you know, some time apart, you need to let that be what it is. And the universe is just asking you to trust them. Um, and the universe is also asking you to just trust the process and trust in yourself. So be patient is a really powerful and strong message that is coming through with temperance and just let this time be what it is you know not every chapter of your life is meant to you know is meant for achieving or getting things done some chapters have to be a little bit more still a little bit more quiet a little bit more reflective so let this time be what it is um just because it's not necessarily what you want it to be doesn't mean that you know doesn't mean that you should feel some type of way about it i do think that you're just being asked to trust the process and trusting can be very hard you know keep having faith in something can be you know difficult especially when you don't have any assurance or you don't have any certainty of whether or not this is going to work out or whether or not this person is going to come back into your life or whether or not you know it's a good thing in the first place but just have faith and as I see it, I feel like things will work themselves out. You just have to let this time be what it is, which is a very confusing time, which is a very uncertain time, you know. Um, it's it's a little disorientating. It's a little overwhelming. It's, it's a lot. But just trust the process. Uh, King of Wands energy, I do think that, you know, there's this... There's this... inspiration in them there's this want or desire to take action to take action or to try and reconnect or to try to you know re-establish a connection or get back to where things are and so I feel like this person still has a burning desire for you this person still has an attraction for you this person still feels like their flame burns brightly for you but for some reason or maybe even several this person is so confused right now. They are so confused. I also feel like, and it's not something that you want to hear. You may want to skip this part. But I feel like your person is talking to other people. I think that maybe they're trying to get over you. Maybe they're trying to distract themselves. Um, maybe they're just trying to pass time. Maybe it's, you know, nothing serious at all. And Maybe it's not even like romantic. Maybe this is work. But your person is talking to other people. I think they're trying to either keep their options open. I do think it's somehow in an attempt to distract themselves. Okay. Maybe it's like a rebound as well. But Seven of Cups energy. Them feeling confused. Them having options. Them having choices. Them being uncertain. They're not sure whether what they want. You know. That the fact that they want to reconnect. They're not sure if that's good for reality like if that's good for the both of you or whether this is just fantasy right whether this is just something that they fantasize about um i feel like they're waiting for something i feel like your person you know how earlier we said um with temperance energy there's a need to be patient well, I feel like your person is, I don't know, it's weird because it feels like they're waiting for something. Are they waiting to hear back from you? Are they waiting to hear from you maybe before they actually start talking again? Are they waiting for a specific reason or an excuse to contact you? What are they waiting for? Have they given, or maybe you guys have given each other like, you know, x amount of time to be apart 
but there is some sort of element of waiting that is being indicated here this person feels like they're waiting for you maybe um, maybe they're waiting for you to come back maybe they're waiting for you to reach out or you or even like respond back to them but they're definitely waiting on something here but um, whilst in the process of waiting it just feels like this person is confused um, or maybe perhaps that's the person I'm connecting to. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. If you're feeling this way, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's probably not the best time to make a decision. And I think you know the answer to that. Because you're confused, you're, you're not sure, you know, there's a lack of clarity. You've got cloudy vision right now. You're not being judicious. Your judgment probably isn't the best right now. Um, you're just feeling confused, you're feeling all sorts of emotions. Probably not a good state to make and commit to a choice or a decision. So, as we spoke about earlier, let this time be what it is. If you're feeling confused, okay, good. Stay, like, you know, feel the confusion. Stay in that space until you feel like you have that clarity and you can move out of that space. But there's like there's a chapter and there's a season for everything and there's nothing wrong with where you're at. Even if you don't know what it is that you should be doing or um, how you should be feeling about this situation. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like stay in this space until you figure things out basically. Alright guys and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by subscribing. Bye for now.